What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The Egghead Island incident is about to hit critical mass, so spoiler warning if you don't want your mind blown by the antics of Yonko Straw Hat Luke. There's now an all out war with the Marines versus the Vegapunk Straw Hat Alliance and after years of waiting we finally have a Yonko versus Admiral fight. Yes! 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 Guys, Oda got to the final saga and just unlocked all the characters in One Piece and I am absolutely loving it. Oda first teased the Egghead Island incident back around chapter 1078, correct me if I'm wrong. Since then we have seen a crazy escalation of events that led to a marine fleet larger than that of a buster called pulling up to Egghead Island. We have all these vice admirals, Admiral Kizaru and Gorose member Jay Garcia Saturn on Egghead Island. Now this force was put together originally to challenge Vegapunk because the world government aka the five elders aka Imu thought that Vegapunk posed an O'Hara level threat. Basically they were scared that Vegapunk was finding out too much about the Void Sentry. Straw Hat Luffy just happened to go to the island after Wano which luckily for us has now given us the Sabadi Archipelago rematch that we've all been waiting for and I can confidently say neither of them are serious as yet. Kizaru actually looks like he's trying to avoid the fight with Luffy and just carry out his mission and Luffy is protecting everyone while dealing with anyone anything Kizaru throws at. We also see Kizaru using his devil fruit in ways that we've never seen before. When he uses Shadow Clone Jutsu, he's essentially independently controlling his element separate from his body and we've only ever seen Logia users be able to produce their element and then launch it as an attack. He's also unaffected by Luffy's Toon Force abilities which leave us with a couple options. Either Kizaru's fruit is special and because the properties of light aren't always consistent like the particle wave duality of light, his devil fruit may also possess special abilities allowing it to function in different ways. This wouldn't be something unheard of because we saw this with Katakuri's devil fruit the Mochi Mochi which was a special paramecia and even Blackbeard's Logia doesn't function the way other Logias do. Or Vegapunk augmented his Devil Fruit, which is why it has special abilities. We know Vegapunk studied Kizaru's abilities to come up with the lasers for the pacifistas. So it's not a stretch to believe that he would have also upgraded Kizaru's Devil Fruit in the process. And Devil Fruit modification is something we've seen in One Piece before. We saw it with Chopper and the Rumble Balls, where Chopper used the Rumble Balls to alter the transformation part of his power, allowing him to access other transformations that weren't initially part of his powers and now he doesn't even need the rumble balls to transform into those other forms unless we're talking about monster point i personally hope kizaru gets serious because this would be a perfect opportunity for us to see a logia awakening which is something we haven't seen throughout the entire series so someone please send this to oda oda do it do it now but none of that matters because luffy is not going to lose to an admiral after defeating kaido even though Kizaru's fruit might be extremely powerful, uh, so is Luffy and we know that only Haki can transcend all something Luffy is extremely proficient in. He's not even using advanced conquerors yet and so far we have no Haki feats for Kizaru. So if Kizaru isn't a user of the color of the Supreme King, honestly, I don't see him winning against Luffy and he's gonna have to be able to defeat Luffy in order to accomplish his mission because Luffy's not gonna stop defending Vegapunk. We've seen that when he makes a promise he intends to always keep or is Saint Jagasia gonna make his move. We saw at the end of the last chapter that he was giving an absolutely menacing stare bruv and it's not crazy to assume that due to his power level, his observation haki is keeping him informed of the way the fight is currently going. Remember he's under direct orders from Imu so failure is not an option with these missions and we got a teaser of his potential powers back when Sabo was in the throne room with Imu-san. If Kizaru can't get the job done or Jagasia thinks he's taking too long, he might seize this opportunity to take out Joy Boy before he discovers his true power or who he truly is. But let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments and definitely, you know, leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you like this content. The likes really help the algorithm and I appreciate everyone who watched this video. I'll see you guys later.